Maintaining a normal social life as a slayer it, it, it's problematic at best. This is the 90s, the 1990s in point of fact, and I can do both. Clark Kent has a job. I just want to go on a date. Well, I suppose it was a fairly slim lead. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And look, I won't go far, okay? If the apocalypse comes, beat me. Wow, Sarah Michelle Geller got a lot of experience protecting the world from evil as Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You remember that? For seven seasons she was on the air. Now we're happy to tell you Geller is back on TV screens in the series is called Wolfpack. It's on Paramount Plus, which like CBS is a division of Paramount Global. We like that. She's a member of the family. Geller plays Kristen Ramsey, an investigator is trying to get to the bottom of a new supernatural danger that emerges during a wildfire. What is happening here? Take a look. You the head nurse? No, but I can try to help. You actually know anything? You're gonna waste my time. I'm Investigator Ramsey with the LAFD, and this blunt instrument of the LAPD is Officer Jang. We're part of a joint task force investigating the wildfires. We're looking for anyone who came in recently that was injured on the freeway this morning, especially the kids who were on that school bus. Yeah, we got one of them. Walked in on his own, laying, Everett Lang. Why would the police want to talk to him? Sarah Michelle Geller, we're also happy to tell you, is an executive producer on the show and joins us in the studio. Hello, Sarah what? Michelle. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so now I'm in trouble. See, no, I before, Sarah Michelle means I'm in trouble. No, before we went on the air, I said, how do you prefer to be addressed? Sarah, Sarah Michelle, and she said, am I in trouble? I go, no, not that I know of. She goes, well, then just Sarah. But we clearly, glad to clearly see I made her mad <laughs> so in the last 20 seconds. I've been <laughs> Sarah Michelle. We are glad to have you here, Madam Geller. So this is the thing about this show. One episode, I guarantee you guys, you'll be hooked, even if you're not into yeah. this kind of supernatural thing. Because I, I looked at one episode, then I said, now I want to see what happens. So when the script came for you to play Agent Ramsey, you said, well, I know this stuff. I can't wait to do it again. Is that what happened? <laughs> That's totally what happened. Yeah. You know, obviously, I get a lot in that space. Yes. And initially, I had no plans to read it. I was like, well, You weren't even going to read it? Well, no, I, I've done vampires, and we did it pretty successfully. I didn't mm -hmm. feel the need to repeat it. And then my team said, you should just read it. Jeff Davis, who created the show. He's a really talented writer. And even if this isn't for you, like maybe you should meet, maybe you could do something. And then like Gail, I read it and I was like, wait, I need to know what happens next. I need to know <laughs> yes. what happens next. And yes. what I came to realize and I, I've really come to realize over the last couple of months is that super human supernatural really allows you to tell the most superhuman stories because you kind of slip it in. Yeah. So yes, while there is obviously this bigger it's a metaphor for really the demons in our head because yeah. that's what scares us. And, you know, discussing anxiety, discussing loneliness, the isolation we've all felt, and we can use sort of this world to tell really important stories. Why was yeah. it important to insert anxiety in this? This is also what I thought was interesting. Well, I think that the youth of today they face so much, and I see it in my own children, I see it in myself, you know, we have 24-hour news cycles and everything's online, yeah. and it's so much, and we need to learn how to use it. And what I learned is that anxiety actually is your body running at peak condition. Huh. And so if we stop looking at it like a problem, but yeah. learn how to harness it, that will ultimately become our superpower. Yeah. So then, teaching the youth to use that, and also just the idea of loneliness and the idea of isolation that we all felt in COVID and how important your pack mm. really is. Everybody needs a pack, don't, That's good. don't we? So we some, need a pack. We do need a pack. Yeah. I think that, you guys have a pack. We, we have do. a pack, yeah. We do. Uh, all right, so someone on our producing team thought this would be an important question to ask. Having played a vampire slayer and now an investigator hunting werewolves, in life, what would you rather confront, a werewolf or a vampire? Okay, well, a few things. First of all, you know none of those are real. <laughs> Secondly, That's I'm a fire wrong. investigator. I'm an arson investigator. Right. I'm just looking at who started the fire. But you right. know where it's going to lead. Do I? Uh, okay. Do I? Do I, I, I know? I think you're also skirting the question here. I not, well, no, I don't, I'm just saying I don't know No, Sarah said, first of all, none of those are real. Right. <laughs> That's such a good answer. Just to, well, I mean, wolves are real. Yes. And there is a danger to wolves right yes. now in our environment, which is the other thing of the fires that's really interesting. So the last big, I now, I'm from New York, obviously, but I, I live in L.A. now. And the last big fire, we were that family at 2 a.m. in the morning that they knocked on our door and said, you have 10 minutes to evacuate and grab all your belongings. And we left with this huge fire coming over yeah. the ridge, oh. not knowing if we wow. were going to have a house to come home to. Wow. And thankfully, we, we had a house to come back to, a dirty house, but a house. But a yeah. house. And we were extremely grateful to all of the work. But you realize in that, you know, what we're doing to our environment. And not just what it's doing to us, but what it's doing to all of the animals and the ecosystem 
within. Yeah. yeah, you were talking during the commercial break about being executive producer and creating a work environment. Um, did your past experiences um, put you in a better position to have this safer place for people to coexist? Well, absolutely. What's experience and knowledge if you can't use it, pass it on, and make things better because of the experiences you've had? And, you know, I, I left the business for a while to raise my kids, and coming back, it is a different business that you're coming to. And being able to make a set that's communicative, that's collaborative, where voices can be heard. You know, I understand that feelings aren't facts, but they're still feelings. They're still and feelings. there should be a place in any business where, you know, we're so often told that we're replaceable and just shut up and say your lines yes. or do your job. But you could have a real concern and I want to have a place where, where people have people to come to. And I said to the kids on the show, I said, look, I'm not there all the time. I said, here's my phone number. I always answer. Oh, wow. If there's a concern, like, call me. And I think they were more comfortable talking to me than other people because right. they understand and also having an executive producer that's on you know you guys are lucky you have your executive producer here every yes. day we don't usually have that in film and especially mm, in tv yes. and so to have someone that's on the set that knows what's going on that can right. say, you know what we're working too late we need to get cars for people so no one's driving or and, and the fact that you said here's my number and call me and you meant it and I even and gave them it. my real number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I know I have an okie doke number too, but right. that's good. You gave them the real number. I gave them the real We number. are cheering you on. We are so excited for this show and so excited for your continued success. Thank you for Thank having you, me. Thank you, Sarah Michelle Geller. We're glad you Thanks came. Thank you here. Wolfpack premieres this Thursday on Paramount Plus, and we'll be right back. You have an okie doke number? I didn't know that. <laughs> yes.